it's TLD day 25. So get your math lesson out for this day. It says day 25, analyzing two dimensional shapes. Okay, so here are the directions. Answer the riddles using the following words. I'm going to go ahead and move this up more and talk about our words that we're going to use. Okay. All right, the first word we have is triangle. Think of a triangle. A triangle looks like this. So how many sides does it have? It has three, doesn't it? Let's skip polygon for a second. Quadrilateral. Remember that word, part of that word quad? Remember I talked to you about a quad runner or a four-wheeler? They have four wheels. So a quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. All right. A pentagon. Now a pentagon kind of looks like a house. Okay. So it has five sides and five angles. And then a hexagon, I'm not very good at hexagons. That's not very good there guys, but one, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon has six sides and six angles, okay? That's a terrible hexagon, sorry, okay? And then a polygon. A polygon is a shape, it's flat just like the others, and it has to be closed, and it has to have straight sides, okay? So a circle is not a polygon, okay? It's closed, but it doesn't have straight sides or any, any, any angles, does it? This little shape here, that's not a polygon. Even this is not a polygon because it's not closed. It has straight sides, but it's not closed. This, well, it doesn't have any straight sides and it's not closed, okay? So, polygon has to have straight sides and it has to be closed, okay? All right, so here's our riddle. I have four sides and four angles. Squares and rectangles belong, but a triangle does not. What am I? Well, it tells us right there, I have four sides and four angles. Which one has four sides and four angles? quadrilateral, right? Okay, copy it from your paper. Don't worry about copying it from the screen, okay? Number two, I am a closed-sided shape with three or more angles. Squares, hexagons, and triangles belong, but a circle does not. What am I? Okay. So what what did I tell you? It had to be closed and it had to have straight sides and it had to have angles. A polygon, right? Yep. Number two, a polygon has to have at least three angles, which means it has to have straight sides. And it has to be closed, okay? Number three, I have three sides and three angles. I am a polygon, but not a quadrilateral. What am I? Okay, what has three sides and three angles? Yep, a triangle. Screen, okay. Number four, I am a six-sided polygon. What am I? Okay, what has six sides? Which one has six sides? Right, hexagon. Hexagon has six sides and six angles. 
All right. Now I'm going to have to erase and move up. So make sure you've got one, two, three, and four. And you might want to have your numbers up here for the last couple of questions, okay? All right. Take a minute and do that. going to start writing over here with straight. Are you ready for the word straight? I'm going to spell it out loud for you. Ready? S T R A something like with a Are you doing it with me? You gotta count the sides with me. Ready? One. 
Loma. All right, let's do it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen sides and sixteen angles. Wow. So number one, which shape has the fewest sides? Which one has the lowest number? A, B, C, D, or E? Yeah, six is the smallest number, isn't it? It has the fewest sides, so we're gonna put B. Which shape has the most angles? Well, we know the, side, the number of sides and the number of angles match. So which one has the most? What letter? Yeah, E. That's the biggest number, isn't it? Right? E. Number three. How many shapes have seven or fewer angles? So we've got to count. Which ones have seven or fewer? Does that have seven or fewer? Nope. Does that have seven or fewer? Yep, there's one. Does that one have seven or fewer? Nope. Does that one have seven or fewer? Yep, it has seven. There's two. Does that one have seven or fewer? No. So how many have seven or fewer angles? Two. All right. Which shapes have the same number of sides? Which two Shapes match. Oh, this one and this one. They both have eight, don't they? So A and C. So that's what you've got to put. A and C. All right. Which shape has two fewer sides than shape A? Well, let's go over here. Shape A has eight. And it has two fewer. So 8 subtract 2. What is 8 subtract 2? 6. So which shape has 6? B. So put your B. Alright, I hope you've got all of that. I'm going to move it up, okay? Alright, directions. Draw the following shapes using the properties given. All right, let me get everything erased. Now, on this side, draw a shape with four sides. You can do that. Draw any shape with four sides. Let's see. You could draw something like a square. That's fine. You could draw a rectangle. You could draw a trapezoid. You could draw something like this. Four sides, okay? Now draw a shape with more than four sides, so at least five, okay? You can do that. You do that while I get um, your science out for today, okay? Or something that's liquid, the ocean or a river. Gas. 
wind or air or steam. So draw a picture. You can do it on the back of your uh, cover sheet or just get a scrap piece of paper out and do that, okay? So draw your pictures. All right, guys? All right. Take care.